everyone will throw the dash and wumble. Blimey. It's Tuesday. It's a oh, crikey. It's nearly uh, it's 7.45 p.m. And I've probably started about an hour or so ago. And it's just been utter crap. I've got four apps going now. I've got Walmart Spark. I've got uh, Uber Eats, Grubhub, and DoorDash. Let's <laughs> just drive to highlighted. Route. Every time that bloody thing. Anyhow, utter crap at the moment. Utter crap. Hey everyone, uh, Ray the Dashing Wombo here. Hope everyone had a great Tuesday. Still Tuesday for us. <laughs> it's only 10 o'clock. Yeah, I'm early. That's 10 p.m., not a.m. A bit lighter. Anyway, um, yeah, hopefully it all went well for everybody. Hopefully it, uh, the time out, Vipin, hopefully you just made, made a good profit. We, oh, excuse me, I didn't get started too late, I got to the delivery area and uh, ran the car through, the ran the van through the car wash, uh, gave it Hoover out while I was doing that, my wife was ordering a pizza, and um, which is normally whereabouts we uh, sit and wait for work anyway and uh, buy the mint there and um, got the pizza sat in the car just wanted just to sit in the van and have that I had the apps on I was watching the videos and I had the apps on and I would check to see what would come in you was dead I actually had four apps on four Actually, I think I might have forgot to turn one off. Anyway, um, I had the uh, DoorDash, Uber Eats, Grubhub, and Walmart Spark too. Now, I've not done a Walmart Spark order as of yet. Mainly because it doesn't seem to be anything worthwhile. I mean, I look at these things and it's like, deliver a whole lot of items for... I don't know, for 10 miles for, uh, I don't know, $12 or whatever. Well, for me, it doesn't seem worth it. Now, if you've got a whole batch of them to go and they're all in that, or all in the, uh, oh, straight for all in the, uh, on a route and there isn't so many of them or whatever per house then um and they're not bloody going upstairs or whatever other than that criteria is very flipping high but you know um then maybe it'd be worth it i don't like to do do apartment buildings if i can help it um a lot of the time they're a pain in the ass to uh they're not marked that well to be sure and I just don't do well with stairs anymore. I mean, I can do the porches up towards houses. As long as they don't have those stupid flipping wooden railings that about fall off in your hand. But, um, but no, for us, um, we waited and waited. I even shifted, shifted down the road a tad. So uh see if we get anything anything down there. Uh down by the I hope. Finally something came in and it was uh from Sahara, the Mediterranean restaurant, which is down the other end of 291. And uh anyway it went there and it was going to come into Raytown. And it was, uh, I think, 11.50 on that one. Anyhow, um, got down to the Sahara as I got out of the van to go, go in there. 
little Irishman in in the uh, car that was he was going to his car, and he he shouts over to me, "Yeah, we know him." Uh, big shout out to Kevin. Haven't seen you for a while, mate. It's good to see you. I need enjoyed the chat too. Um, I had a brief chat with him and told him that my wife was in the car. So he went off to chat with her and I went in the restaurant. But anyway, by the time I come out, he gone. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, really nice bloke. Really, really good to see him. Wish I had more time to chat with him, but he was there picking up uh, food for his mum anyway. But that was fun to see him. But anyway, I was waiting in the restaurant. I had to wait for them to finish making it. Oh, I don't know what time they closed down there, but bloody hell, there was no one in there. No one. Anyhow, so uh, got that food and uh, pulled, uh, drove up the ray town. There was a house, got to that house, and there was no bloody porch lights on. There was lights inside the house, but no porch lights. So I, uh, yep, yeah, I did my did what I usually do. Made sure that there was lights on that, like floodlights on that bloody house. <laughs> yeah, I lit that place up. If you don't put a flipping um, porch light on, and I can get on your driveway and point it towards your front door, then. My lights, you're going to know that I'm there. Because there ain't no way in hell I'm going to flip in, uh, stumble across on these, some of these bloody uh, paths and that to some people's houses. Oh, that was absolutely ridiculous, to be fair. But uh, anyway, got to that one, dropped that one off, got back in a van, uh, confirmed all of that. And um, said to my wife, I don't think it's even worth going back out. I don't want to waste the petrol going out. So she said, well, whatever you want to do. So here we are. Whom? She's gone in to watch some telly, and I've been out here watching YouTube and doing other stuff. Got a got an app that uh, maybe you can all try um, it's called Pogo I'll put a link to it down below now you won't earn a fortune out of it for sure but it's uh, I guess it's not really a cash back you can, uh, you can do surveys on it and get some get points on it and those points make up to uh, dollar notes at the end of it and um and what I was doing today, every time, we, the main thing about um, Pogo is, or the main thing I like about Pogo, one, yeah, you can do the surveys, do all of those, um, lots of those to go through. It's got other stuff like side hustles and that to earn, earn points on. Um, actually, a good place to look for newest, new side hustles too. And um, there's other stuff on, on there you can... Uh, make some money if you go to uh, Walmart etc and other rest, uh, other uh, places um, you can also scan in receipts as well you'll get 25 points every time you scan in a receipt and um, so I went through my petrol receipts that I got got in the uh, in an envelope there I get them digitally anyway but I always get the receipt and um, apparently there was a few other receipts in there, so I was scanning all through those, putting those all into the Pogo system, and getting um, points on those. But yep, the but the thing with Pogo is you can drive up up uh, let's say for two ninety one for example, where I tend to go up and down quite often, quite a lot during the day, and uh, you'll go past Walmart and it will pop up with an ad from walmart and it you know you click on it and then it, it shows whatever the ad is and you just hit the x button i mean you don't even have to look at the bloody thing hit the x button 
and then it'll say oh it'll come up say success and you just hit the close and that's it let it go and then uh, you'll go past sprouts for example and it'll pop up for with an ad from there um, do the same again uh, it works doesn't do it all the time maybe it, it limits it how uh, many times a day this goes past um, not really sure how, how, how it all works but anyway I've cashed out on it several times I've had it probably about a year or so now but yeah I mean you get every time you go past the CVS or Walgreens Target Sprouts uh, O'Reilly's Walmart what's up Walmart bloody hell um, where else drive to highlighted route goes other places too can't quite remember wherever it goes there's, there's several of them um, Dollar General and um, Dollar Tree works out as well you go past one of those and it'll automatically do it just leave the darn thing on it'll just pop up on your screen and you can choose to look at it now you don't even have to immediately look at it let's say that you're on, on a door dash and that thing pops up you know that it's there go on and do the door dash job, job do the delivery and then just go and click on the Pogo uh, app after and the thing will be there just just click on it and exit out again or even look at the ad if you want but um, I generally don't unless it's just a mistake when I hit it but just hit the X button and it earn your points I think it's like 70 points it is 70 points a thousand points is a dollar so like I said you don't get a flipping whole lot but you do make some money on the surveys and that, make some points on the surveys. But just it, it's just something else in the background. It'll earn you earn your points. It'll it'll just uh, mount up. Just let it mount up, and you can just cash it out to PayPal. That's all I I, just, I don't know if it does anything else, but but anyway, I mean, I'll put a link below. And uh, the link below, or the below will give you, I think it's 250 points. It'll also give me points too, just to let you know on that. But but yeah, if you click it below, you'll be able to go straight to the app and do what, do everything. But it's well easy to use. And like I said, I mean, it's just like having a cat. It sorts itself out. <laughs> um, but it just... Um, for the most part but yeah I mean it's um, it's just something else I mean you can go and, if you're bored when you're waiting for a job like we've all been waiting lately I mean you can just go and do a survey on it or something or find other apps that do it too there's a, uh, another one that I do just for surveys and it's uh, called IntelliZoom and uh you can do stuff there, you can use it on your iPad. Oh, must have to take your iPad in. Use it on your iPad if you've got one of those, or your iPhone, um, Android 2, and they do these other ones if you've got a desktop or a laptop, you can do it on those too. And some of them, they pay pretty well. Um, most time it's like $5, but the apps, the, the servos ain't, ain't that, they don't take a lot lot of effort and that just goes off into your paypal account they just pay you and i've uh, had some money out of that too but there are some that come through and uh they'll pay like 150 dollars on them i haven't had one of those yet because uh it, those ones just seem to be uh on the um uh what are those those are on the computer and I generally don't take a computer out when I don't take the laptop out. I always seem to take the the iPad out a lot though. But but no, it's um it's just other stuff to have. Other stuff. I mean, like I said, you ain't gonna earn a fortune out of it. But an extra if you let the darn thing go for a year and you you work the pogo thing and do a few uh, surveys and that. I mean I'd probably have been um cashed out 
uh, about three hundred dollars on the darn thing. It just I just let it mount up. Just let it mount up, took it out whenever it whenever. Uh not up to much on there at the moment though, but but I uh, haven't done a whole lot with it. But it was just something I was thinking of. It's just uh, something in the background to have. All these things help. And uh, like I said, I mean, with you can scan receipts in. So if you like me and you go to the petrol station, well, you do, if you do door dashing, you're at the petrol station a lot. So just scan in the receipt. If you get a pizza, like I did earlier on, scan in the receipt. If you go... Uh, to the quick trip and buy some snacks or wherever you buy snacks from to keep you going during the day get the receipt they don't always give you a receipt but if they ask get it just take a picture of it or just scan it into the system and you know you'll earn some points it all mounts up just all mounts up it's uh not a lot of money as i said but it mounts up um so yeah, it's just uh, just extra stuff that you can just uh, earn cash on. And if you're sitting around and you don't do you don't do a YouTube channel, you just uh, just watch everybody else. Then uh, you know it gives you something else to do. Um, hopefully you're not wait waiting around. I mean, we can all sit at home and watch bloody YouTube videos. Don't need to be doing it while we're sat outside waiting on a what the hell's going on here? Um, it's uh we can do all the watching the telly back home anyway um so no nothing uh nothing to report today except that i don't know and is every anyone that does a, a grub hub grub hub oh wow i mean doordash comes out with grab uh, an awful lot of not good ones um, Uber Eats nope it's uh, a lot of Walmart stuff and I won't take a Walmart order from there not at all and I don't trust a lot of the uh, the Uber Eats ones as of late and uh, I think it was because I watched a uh, video and that, well, certainly that we've been to one. We went to uh, a couple of times we've driven across town for on the strength of an Uber Eats order to find out that the restaurant's closed, where it should actually be open. And uh, you spend all the time on the phone. You try to figure out, what well, is someone in there? Are they waiting for it? All of that. Determine no one's there or they just don't want to deal with you. And... You get a hold of support. You then on the on the phone to support. Yes, there's an automate automated thing to say uh, that the restaurant's closed, but they don't pay you on that. Each time I've done that, I've never been paid. So if you call them, then you get paid, but it's uh, three dollars regardless of how long you've been there or how far you've driven. It seems with Uber Eats, it's three dollars. So, um, whereas if you did a uh, DoorDash order and let's say it was $20 and you went over there and it was closed or whatever, you call DoorDash and you get instant half pay. Um, so that's one thing I like about uh, DoorDash. I mean, yeah, I'd rather do the job, but because that's what I've gone over there for, rather than 20 rather than 10 but. But it's uh, certainly better than three dollars or whatever. And I did the ones last night at that absolutely awful McDonald's in uh, Blue Springs over on Seven Highway and Seventy I Seventy. That one on Mock Avenue. That one is. Uh, I don't know, something wrong about that place, for sure. But anyway, um, 
No, it's, uh, you just got to look for other stuff to do. Um, you can sit on your ass and cry about it or find in some other ways to make your money. Go sell some stuff on uh, eBay or whatever. Go um, do a, uh, a garage sale or whatever. I've certainly got a lot of crap to sell, that's for sure. But anyway, um, there's ways of making money. Go on Fiverr, do something with Fiverr. Go on uh, Etsy and do some stuff with Etsy. Uh, there's all sorts of ways of making money, but if you if you want to be out and about, um, just have to look for more apps. There's plenty Drive of apps out there. Route. But anyway, uh, I think I'm going to... Uh, finish it up and um i'll put the video put put the uh whatever i've done somewhere <laughs> and uh links below to the two uh things that i told you about on the surveys uh pogo and in tele zoom and uh yeah well hopefully wednesday's going to be a good one for everyone and um Hopefully it's worth our while going out. I, I will be out early tomorrow. My wife's got a uh, doctor's appointment, so uh, I will be out early. So I should be out for the lunchtime, one to two for that. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, have fun. Cheers. Ta-da.